welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Layla. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Okay, here we go. And it's been like three months since the last time I uploaded to this channel. So I apologize. I know, I'm trying to get content out there, but you know, it's uh, been crazy. So I thought I would do a video just telling what I've been doing the past three months, what's been going on, and what I'm doing currently, and what I'll be doing in the future. In the future of this channel, in the future of me, but I mean, you know, who, who cares? So, who cares about my life stuff? So, yeah, a lot has happened since April and July uh, in the news, and in my personal life, and then just in general. So basically, I turned 20 in April. I turned 20 in the year 2020, in the middle of a pandemic. So that was interesting. I got texts from so many people that said happy birthday to me, which was amazing. Thanks so much. Um, shout out to Shaylin. I know Shaylin was the first friend that texted me, but I'm pretty sure Charles beat you, so I'm sorry, Shaylin. Uh, but yes, I turned 20. My mom did a fantastic job of making, feel, making me feel special, and that even though I couldn't celebrate the day that I wanted, it was still actually a really nice day but yeah like normally on my birthday it was good friday it fell on good friday this year i would have come home on my birthday for easter regardless uh, you know if it, if it wasn't a pandemic i would have come home and it just i was looking forward to my birthday but also not looking forward to my birthday because i knew i would have to travel i would have school but i like people telling me happy birthday of course so this time, different obviously, I still had class. My mom bought me bagels from uh, one of the local uh, donut shops, or bakery shops not too far from here that do donuts and bagels, and I love bagels. So she brought me those, she made a cake for me, we went out to eat, um, and when I mean going out, I mean take out. And I FaceTimed my grandparents and my boyfriend, and they all wished me a happy birthday. So it was really special, and it was really nice that I got to do that. Okay, so fast forwarding to May. May definitely was rough. I had lost my great-grandfather in May on Mother's Day. So it was really shocking having to uh, go through that in the middle of a pandemic. Again, everything with this freaking pandemic. But yeah, I, I had a lot of emotions with that. One of them being, of course, sadness. I kept telling myself that I would go and visit him while I was uh, at school. I'd be like, oh, you know, I, I will visit him, I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him, I'll, I'll get to talk to him, it's, it's fine. Then the pandemic happened. Oh, well, once the pandemic's over, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. It'll be no problem, I'll talk to him, everything will be okay, I'll see him. And I never got to do that. And I definitely regretted that, regretted not speaking to him um, the last couple of months because I just, I was in school and uh, he was at a nursing home. So that was definitely the first emotion, of course, sadness, but also, you know, just this overwhelming, you know, feeling of gratefulness. Cause I know that it's really rare for people my age, I'm 20, like I said, <laughs> for people my age to, get to know their great-grandparents sometimes you know they don't even get to know their grandparents but I on the other hand got to know my great-grandfather and he was one heck of a guy and uh, he's a World War II veteran and he loved I think it was the Mets and he was just you know he was a great person to be around with and I really cherished that relationship so that happened and I still had to do finals and I still had to finish up like any loose string stuff to do uh, while at home while also helping plan the funeral and let me tell you something finals during a pandemic that I mean I was so done <laughs> at this point in the year I was so done I didn't want to have to do anything that had to do with school I was just like oh my god I can't do this anymore remote learning it was hard, but I conquered it in a way. I made the Dean's List, which was really nice. But it was just like, oh God. 
like enough. It was more work. If you're not a music major, a performing arts major or whatever, I'll give you the inside scoop, okay? I'm just gonna take a minute to rant for a second. So basically when you're a performing arts major, a music major, me, I'm a music business major, you have your five core classes. Plus, for me, I don't know what it's like for everyone else, but this is normally what you have to do. You have a big ensemble, then you have a little ensemble you have to be a part of, then private lessons you have to take, then concerts that you have to attend. I think there's one more thing. I can't remember. Any of my music major friends add, you know, comment below how much other stuff you have to do out of, you know, just how much stuff you have to do as a music major. Okay. So then after May, June rolled around and again, another really difficult month, probably the most pivotal time, point in time in my lifetime, especially as a young black American in this country, just watching the George Floyd protests and, you know, Breonna Taylor, who still, the murderers of Breonna Taylor have still not been arrested, so please go ahead. I, you know what? I'll probably find some links to petitions and stuff that you guys can sign or uh, participate in. Um, but just watching all of that, as horrifying as it was, I wasn't surprised. And I think that's the saddest part that I wasn't surprised that these things are still happening. Even in the middle of a pandemic, our lives still are being knelt on so that was really um tough to watch and you know it kind of broke me for like a few weeks because it's just like you know how am i supposed to feel <laughs> like it was just mentally draining with already the pandemic already like like what 40 million people out of work and seeing the numbers and it's just the news is just horrible every single day and then it's like you're remind Whoa. I'm, gonna edit that. I'm gonna edit that all right so I moved away from my deck because there's too many wasps and bees that are having a field day so yeah so also with June I unfortunately uh, um, knew two people who also passed away during that month and you know losing one person is hard enough but knowing two other people and and knowing that they've passed and that you you know you, you see them you say hi to them and how they're doing and everything and then for them to be gone was really just like what you know like what it's insane to think about but so yeah that was June and oh and my computer crashed yep Peter crashed right when I was like, I'm gonna do content, I'm gonna do all types of things, look out world, here I come, and my computer crashes. So, yep. So, uh, it's been a lot, and it's only July. So, but yeah, I started back working because uh, Connecticut's been doing pretty well with the viruses. People are still getting sick, and cases are still happening, but it hasn't been as bad as it was and for once I'm kind of glad that I live in Connecticut <laughs> you know because everyone wears a mask for the most part I'm pretty sure there's probably people who are fighting wearing a mask because there's always gonna be someone I don't know why but yeah Connecticut hasn't been too bad what worries me is just the amount of other people in the country really most of the country that is doing uh, pretty bad with all these cases and not wearing masks and making the whole mask thing a you know political thing and all that type of stuff and you know states around Connecticut and Connecticut including you know we, we went through the worst of it and we saw how bad that this virus could really get and I think we all were kind of in a collective agreement at some point that okay yep I'm staying home <laughs> I'm not doing anything I'm wearing a mask because this thing is real so Please stay safe, wear a mask. It's really not that hard. It really does not affect your freedom. It, it doesn't. So yeah, that was pretty much it for um, this update and what's been going on. I thought I'd, you know, say what's been happening because it's been a while since I last made a video and I apologize for that. I'm hoping that I can get some stuff going by the end of the summer, I don't know. I'll have to 
really try to make a calendar for these things. But yeah, thank you for sticking with me and um, watching this video. So please make sure that you take care of yourself, you wear a mask, socially distance, um, just, you know, be safe, be healthy. Uh, so yeah, so make sure to like this video, subscribe, do, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you later because there's an ant on my iPad. All right. I'll tune in later. Bye. <laughs>